very warm good morning to all of you so today we will start our next lesson in the biology from the standard fourth state board and the name of the lesson is what the value of food okay so it is very important lesson children so you have to keep in the mind so we have to value the food so why we have to value the food always our mother our elder people are telling us that don't waste the food whatever the food you need that much only you have to take in your dish and if you need it again then you have to again take but don't take the food in a much quantity or in a more quantity then what will happen if you take in a more quantity if you take in a more quantity first only then only a little portion you will eat and the more or the remaining food you will throw it okay so that in this way what will happen there is a wastage of the food and we have we cannot waste the food or we should stop wasting of the food why we are taking all these things or why our mother father our grandmother or our grandparents are always telling us don't waste the food because we are getting this food ready made in the stores okay suppose we can say the rice is there we are getting the rice a dry rice into the market we are may we are bringing it and then we are making the rice okay but have you ever think from where we are getting this rice or these grains of the rice who is doing the hard work behind that okay so whatever the products we are eating or whatever the agriculture products we are having in our diet or in our meal then each and every product is having or each and every behind each and every product there is a hard work of a farmer there are so many lot of the work the farmers we are doing to produce the grain or to produce the agriculture products okay so we should take care that we will not waste the food we have to take care that whatever the food we need that much only we eat and we here after we will not eat the food so let's see which type of the work is there or how much the farmers were doing the hard work which are the agriculture practices they were following or which are the agriculture steps they are following to get the proper yield or to get the good quality production from the crops okay so let's start so first one various stages of agriculture so while making or while farming or while taking the any type of the crops the corn first thing is that the farmer have to prepare the soil okay or how they are preparing the soil they are preparing the soil by plowing okay they are plowing the land with the help of the plow you can see in the image that with the help of the plow or with the help of using like this instrument the farmer can plow the ground or plow the land okay by plowing they are making the soil prepare for the further activities okay and plowing is very important because with the help of the plowing the microorganisms or the microbes those who are present in the soil their growth get enhanced okay also the air is also get enter into the soil and the roots of the crops can easily goes deeper into the soil that's why the plowing is also very important after plowing the thing is what leveling okay so why the leveling is necessary because of the plowing what happen the soil or the because of the plowing what happen the plows makes the big big pieces of the soil these are called as what lumps of the soil and in the lumps of the soil we cannot sow the seeds or the farmers cannot sow the seeds it is necessary to crush that lumps of the soil and make the soil in a proper manner or to keep the soil in a proper level and once the soil is get properly level then it is very easy to sow the so uh, seeds in the soil okay so first one we have discussed about the plowing then we have discussed about the leveling after that next method is what or the next agriculture practice that is what sowing so once the soil get ready once the soil get prepared for the agriculture the farmers are sowing the seeds okay and after the sowing there is very important that the seeds should get the proper amount of the water okay so when pre monsoon rain happens or the when there is a pre monsoon pre monsoon is there then that climatic condition is good for the germination of the soil why because the pre monsoon rain makes the hot soil humid okay and because of that that the soil the seeds can germinate very easily okay so during that time generally the farmers are sowing the seed okay so next one we have till what we have discussed we have discussed plowing leveling and sowing when the sowing is done then it is very important that irrigation should get properly okay but if the 
farmers are taking the rainy crops. They no need to irrigate the crops. Okay. The rain water is enough for the proper growth of the crops. Okay. And if we are taking the rubby crops, then we have to irrigate the crops properly. Okay. Next one. So with the help of that irrigation or with the help of the plenty of the water, the seeds are growing properly or nicely. But with that seeds or with that seedling, some other weeds is also growing, which is not good or which is unwanted plants that we are taking as what weeds, which is not useful for us. So it is the time to remove that weeds. That is what next method. Next step that is what removing weeds. Okay. So removing weeds is necessary for the crops because if there is excessive weeds, then what will happen that weeds will also absorb the nutrients from the soil. And there is a, is a probability that there is an efficient or the proper nutrients will not get for the crops. Okay. So in this way, removing weeds is also important. After certain days, by, after this all the stage, then the next step is comes that is what harvesting. Okay. So once the crop get ready, now it is time to get harvested. Okay. But before the harvesting, the farmer is doing very important thing to protect the grains in the crops. Okay. So once the crops or the once the grains in the crops are getting ready, so many birds are coming in the crops to eat that grains. Okay. So to protect the grains from the birds, the farmer is what doing? They are set up the scare crow into the Farm. So because of that the farm birds are not coming and we can avoid the loss of the grain, destroying of the grains. Okay, so here image you can see the scarecrow and also they can use the sling. Okay, sling. Or with the help of that sling they are threatened or they are frightened the birds. So with the help of that the birds can get away from the crops. Okay, that also you can see in the image. Okay. So here we have after discussed removing weeds and after weeds so it is the time once the crops get ready then we are harvesting the crop, we are cutting the crops from the field. Okay. So once the cutting is done, once the harvesting is done then what we have to do? Next method that is very important, threshing and winnowing. Okay. So after the harvesting there is a threshing and winnowing. So let's discuss about deeply threshing and we know how these two methods or these two steps are getting followed by the farmers. Okay. So let's see threshing and winnowing. Okay. So this threshing and winnowing is done by the machine also. So uh, we have to add the seeds into the machine or whatever the grains we have color, harvested from the crops that we have to just put into the machine and from that machines we are getting the separate grains and the cover or the seed coat of that seed is also getting aware. Also the rubbish things or whatever the unwanted things are present in the grains. Okay. That also getting removed from the machines. Okay. So here we are getting the clean grains and on the other side we are getting all the rubbish things which are not which are not useful for us. Okay. So with the help of the machine also we can do the threshing and winnowing. Okay. But it is the time of we can say that all the farmers are not having the machines and it is quite expensive also. Okay. So all our, all the farmers cannot use the machine for threshing and the winnowing. Okay. So this threshing can be done with the help of the animals also. Okay. And this winnowing, the person have to stand a little bit high. Okay. And from that height they have to throw the grains down side. And with the help of that, what happened? Because of the air, what happened? Whatever the chaps or the removed uh, seed coats of the seeds are there, it will get away with the help of the air. And the clear grains or the clear seeds we will get down. Or we get the heap of the clear grains. Okay? Clean grains. Okay? So in this way, threshing and winnowing can be happens with the manual also. Okay? So this threshing can happens with the Animals also. So let's see with the animals how the threshing is happen. So for that, what happen? They are having one pole, and on that pole they are tying the rope, and for that rope they are tying the bulls. Okay. So uh, bulls are helping the farmer for the threshing. So how it happens? Let's see. 
so in the farm they are making the clean land on that clean land in the middle they are holding like this pole okay or they are keeping like this big poles okay and where we have to do the threshing on that place they are uh, on the circular manner of this pole they are uh, keeping all the harvested grains okay and allowing the bulls to walk on this so with the help of walking when the bulls will walk on this then what happens easily the grains will get separated from the harvested crops okay so this is only called as what threshing here in the image also you can see how the animals are helping the farmer in the threshing process okay so if the uh, crops or if the harvested crops are in a more quantity in a large quantity then the number of bullocks are also getting increases or we are using the farmers are using the more number of bullocks to do the threshing process okay so this is all about what threshing and winnowing so after threshing and winnowing we are getting the clean clear and the useful grains so now it is the time to pack all that grains so all this grain is getting packed and get transported to the different parts of the city and then we are getting that grains in a proper shops or in a general stores and then we are using that or we are keeping at a home we are bringing at a home and different different food dish we can make from that grains okay so all these things are happen all these hard works of the farmer is behind the every food stuff okay if you talk about the rice bakery then to get the rice the farmers have to do all these agriculture practices and then they are getting the clean clear and the useful rice grain from that rice grain we can make the rice bakery or whatever the rice products are there that we can make okay so that is the reason that we have to take care that we will not waste the food we will value the food value the food means what because of the hard work of the farmer we are getting the food to eat so if we we'll waste the food then we are what happen the farmers all the hard work will be waste okay so in this way we here after we will not waste the food we will do take care that whatever the food necessary that much only we will take in our dish okay now the next point we discuss that is other food stuffs okay so this we are talk about the agriculture but there are the certain food stuffs are also there that we are using or that we are eating for example we can say the milk milk is there from milk from where we are getting the milk the milk we are getting from the cow of it or the goat so to get the milk some people are rearing the animals okay and from the animals we are getting the milk also we can say that we are having the fish that fish we are getting from the sea so for that also the fisherman is doing the hard work they have to go in the ocean they have to uh, catch the fish and then then we are getting the fish some are having the poultry from that poultry we are getting the chickens and the eggs some people are having the farms of vegetables and the fruits and that we are getting in the market so whatever the food material whatever the food stuffs we are eating behind that every one or behind that there is a hard work of so many people okay so that is the reason we have to value the food we have to preserve the food we should not waste the food materials okay so in this way what we have discussed in this lesson we have discussed the value of food and different uh, agriculture practices we have seen and that is the reason that we have to take care that year after we will not waste the food okay so the all this is all about today we will meet in the next video for today